Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, insyaAllah, you will learn about electric charge and field, chapter 1. Okay. And for this chapter, okay, uh, before we go further, let us see our surrounding, which let's say when you go to the petrol station you can see these four signs okay and i believe some of you didn't notice that this uh, sign below have relation with what we will learn today about the electric shock okay or electric charge okay so so after this when you go to the petrol station please alert with the sign okay and this is a natural phenomena where happen at many locations when there is a heavy rain, thunder, okay, you can see thunder here and a very clear and very clear thunder and this has relation with the electric field that the, the topic that we will learn today okay so the scope of study first of all you will learn about uh, static electricity then electric charge and the conservation then after that uh, you will learn about inductors conductors and also the induced charge coulomb's law electric field field lines calculation of electric field electric flux and Gauss law right so what is the static electricity okay sorry so for the static electricity it's a stationary electric charge that is built up on the surface of a material so the keyword here okay okay, okay. the keyword here is that uh, when we talk about static electricity, okay, so for static, so the keyword here is the stationary, okay, stationary. So what, uh, what stationary? The electric charge, okay. Uh, so the electric charge is being built up, okay, built up on the surface of a material. Let's say we have a surface of a material and the electric charge posit uh, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive is on the surface of a material so that is the static electricity right so this is one of the thing okay uh, the, uh, the one of the example so this boy uh, rub the balloon with his with his hair and uh, he found out that the balloon can attract the the papers okay that uh, that he has be, he has cut before so this balloon and this paper got, in, got interaction or we call this as a uh, static uh, got a static electricity okay because of the friction here right so let us go to the fundamental of the charge okay well charge when the charge is neutral it means that the quantity of electrons is equal to protons when the charge being called as negative charge, it means that the electrons is more than protons. And when we call a charge as a positive charge, it means that the protons is more than electrons. So the conservation, okay, the law of conservation of electric charge state that the net amount of electric charge, okay, the net amount of electric charge produced is in any process is zero okay is zero so the net amount okay the sum of the net amount in and out of electric charge produced in any process is zero it means that uh conserve the electric charge is being conserved okay so for insulators okay insulators is the material that do not allow okay that do not allow electrons to flow through them easily okay insulators so what what is the examples? What are the examples? Glass, plastic, ceramic, okay, uh, and rubber, 
then we have a wood, a fabric, wool cloth and paper. Okay, so all these things are insulators which do not allow electrons to flow through them easily. Okay, so conductors. Okay, conductors is a material that allow electrons okay, to flow through them easily. Okay, and electric charge can move freely in response to an electric force. Uh, for example, aluminium, okay, steel, and gold. Right? So, next one is about induced charge. Okay, we can induce charge by charging by three, three types of charging. The first one is charging by conduction. For charging by conduction, involves the direct contact. Okay, when we talk when we when we talk about conduction, charging by conduction, uh, uh, it must have direct contact. Okay, direct contact. Okay, of a charged object to a neutral object. Okay, for example here we have example. Let's say we have a positively charged rod. Okay, uh, mainly this rod is uh, positive positive because it only uh, have few electrons okay and then we have one neutral metal here so if we move the charge rod and to touch the neutral metal what will happen is that the electron flow will flow okay the electron will flow between these two materials and for this neutral metal, we can see that the electrons okay, will flow to the to the rod because being attract the electron are uh, being attract attracted to the positive charge rod. So uh, then uh, the then after that when we uh, when we have uh, separate the materials, we will find out that this metal. Okay, this metal will become positive charge and this rod will become less positive. Okay, okay? Uh, if we compare with the previous or the, the initial one. Okay, so because of the electrons that flow through, through the charge rod, this rod will become less positively charged rod. Okay, the next step to charge, okay, is charging by induction. Okay. Charging by induction is uh, when we charge an object with another without direct contact. Okay. Without direct contact. Okay. For example, let's say we have a neutral metal sphere. Okay. A neutral metal sphere. Then uh, we move the rod, the negatively charged rod, uh, closer to the metal sphere. Okay. What will happen is that this uh, randomly distributed charge inside the metal sphere will align themselves according to the position of the rod. Let's say this rod is negatively charged. It means that this part of the metal sphere will be crowded by or will be uh, aligned by positively charged positive charge. Okay, positive charges here. Well. Uh, the negative charge will, of course, will go uh, go far away from the from the rod, and then if we connect the rod or we grounded the rod, okay, we put a, a grounded wire here and we grounded the rod. Uh, what happens is that the negative charge, the electron, will move up, okay, from the from the rod, from sorry, from the metal sphere. And this metal sphere will become positively charged metal sphere, right? And lastly, okay, oh, this is this should be charging, eh? Charging, okay, charging by friction, okay. So for charging by friction, okay, uh, example is uh, charging uh, by by friction is rubbing a balloon against your hair, so the electrons will move from your hair. To the balloon, so the balloon will become negative, and your hair will become positive charge. Has more positive charge. Okay, so means that 
in your hair uh, and the balloon will have different charges. Okay. Bear in mind that by rubbing the materials, it does not create the electric charges, but it just transfer. Okay, it just sorry, it just transfer the electrons. Okay, from one material to the other. This is uh, the the station that uh, you found out in the beginning of this slide where I show you the sign of electric shock at the pump station. Okay, the the uh, the thing that you need to alert. Okay, so when we drive, okay, when we drive drive a car, for example, we will have a friction between our body with the car seat. Okay, and of course there will be a movement of electrons here. So our neutral body will be will not become neutral again. I will not become neutral neutral because the negative charge will flow to the seat. So we we have a unbalance or imbalance, uh, imbalance charges. So when we pump in the petrol, okay. Uh, we must ensure that, okay. There is no static electricity, okay, uh, that will will be uh, that will uh, become a spark, okay, and when this spark happen, uh, it will ignite the gas fumes and cause a cause a cause a fire here, yeah. okay. So to avoid this imbalance charges in our body before we pump the uh, pump the petrol to our car, we must ensure this safety. Uh, this uh, thing okay the first one is do not re-enter do not re-enter the vehicle while pumping the petrol second one uh, please make sure that you touch something metal like the side of your car before handling the nozzle okay you can touch your car before you handle you before you handle the nozzle okay and uh, some of the petrol station uh, got uh, a specific place to touch, okay? Uh, that they have, uh, they have, uh, they create a specific place so for you to touch your hand there, so that uh, the imbalance charge in your hand will flow to the, to the metal or to the, to the, uh, to that place, and your body will become uh, balanced, okay? Or your charge inside your body become balanced, so they will be not. No, uh, they will uh, avoid. Uh, they, it will avoid the fire to happen. Okay, and it will increase the safety, uh, safety of our uh, safety of the petrol station and ourselves. Okay. Right. 